Hello students, I am Sister Mary here. Welcome to 9th Maths NCRT, Chapter 1, Number Systems. Today, we will study just the introductory part, which is also is very important for exercise 1.1. First, you have already studied, so let's recall back. Something called natural numbers also is denoted as N. Natural numbers starts from 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. It's infinite. Second comes whole numbers. Whole numbers are denoted by W. And whole number starts from 0. And then continues and it is also infinite meaning not ending then comes integers which is also denoted in the form of z and integers you have already studied so includes all counting numbers or all positive numbers and negative numbers including zero so you have to the right side you have starting from positive numbers and to the left you will have minus 1 minus 2 and so on so this whole numbers are called integers then comes rational numbers which is also denoted in the form of q now what are rational numbers now let's uh, uh, study a little more in detail the rational numbers Rational numbers are written in the form of PQ where Q is not equal to 0. Meaning to say P can be any integers. It can be positive, it can be negative or it can be 0. And Q also can be any numbers but it should not be 0. So these numbers are called rational numbers. And Rational numbers, they don't have any unique representation. For example, 1 upon 2 also can be 2 upon 4. If you divide, you will get it again back to 1 upon 2. It also can be written 10 upon 20. If you are dividing 20 by 10, again you will get it. Same, 1 upon 2. Same way, it can be also 25 upon 50. If you divide it, you will get 1 upon 2 again. Therefore, these numbers are called equivalent rational numbers. Now, the unique property of the rational numbers. Rational numbers include all the natural numbers, whole numbers and integers. Just have a look. Natural number starts from 1, 2, 3, 4 and then whole number starts from 0. So all the natural numbers are there in the whole number but not whole numbers are there in the natural number because 0 is not there here. Therefore whole number cannot be a natural number but natural numbers can be whole numbers because all the natural numbers comes in the whole numbers. Same way. Whole numbers are there in integers, that is from 0 onwards. So, integer contains 0 onwards, all the whole numbers. So, whole numbers can be integers, but not all the integers can be whole numbers. Same way, all natural numbers and whole numbers and integers, all the numbers includes in the rational numbers, but not all the rational number can be integers or whole number or natural numbers. So all integers can be rational number but not all the rational numbers can be integers. For example 3 upon 5. If you divide 3 upon 5 we will get 0 0.6 which is not an integer. If you see an integer, do you have any decimals here? No, you have all positives 
numbers and negative numbers and zero but you don't have any decimals there in integers therefore all the integers can be rational numbers but not all the rational numbers can be integers i hope students this concept is clear to you thank you and god bless you